Hello, welcome to this episode of the Classically Urban Podcast. My name is George Georgeopoulos. Joining me today is Phil. That, that's my <laughs> name. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Phil, George. Thank yeah. you. Uh, it's a baby ice cube. All right. I love how you just stole Phil's whole reason for speaking right there. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's shit. Phil. Phil, like, what <laughs> else was he going to say after that? Well, shit, man. I just, I don't know. I, I was distracted by you sitting there laughing in the corner. <laughs> because it was just Every you, time I do the fucking no, intro. No, because the hesitation. You're like, hello. <laughs> I was like, what are you, you doing? You did have a pretty obvious it's fine. hesitation. No, it's Cause, fine. Because the last time you fucked with us. True. I mean, that probably, that's, I'll blame, you can blame that. Don't blame me. Did it was a Phil's decent fault. intro. Turns out we weren't even recording. It was not decent. The moment he was like, I am Phil. Like, that was, that's just not. <laughs> that was the best part of that yeah. recording right there. <laughs> it wasn't a okay. recording because it never happened. So, what are we going to talk about? George, you want to introduce this mayhem that happened actually l- like three hours ago? Yeah, it's kind of, it's not even, con- just, just fucked up. Just fucked up. Um, so, there was a protest in Charlottesville, Virginia. Oh, you got the name right. I'm so proud. I've been getting it wrong all goddamn day. Um, a lot of white supremacists came to the town to protest the removal of the statue of the Confederate General Robert E. Lee. True. Uh, a shitload of counter-protesters showed up. Um, True. And naturally, shit got violent. I mean, bad. I mean, pep- they say chemical irritant were... Irritants were sprayed. Oh, God. That's, that's fucking pepper. pepper spray. I saw the fucking footage. Uh, okay, I was like, did they, like, put some acid in a bottle? And, was like, and, then, and then top it all off. This part is just fucked. A car went headlong into a fucking crowd. That's actually not the first time that's happened in the last six months. Yeah, but still. True. Yeah, but still, it's just. It, it happened in protest, too. Because mm-hmm. people blocking the roads. No, no, no. This no, no, was, no. I he, know, he, I know. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah. he meant, like, he was yeah. trying to kill people. No, not to mention, they weren't shutting down the road. This was the area that the protest was happening in. Granted, it happened to be a road, but... Yeah. The Mustangs do that every day, and they're not even aiming for a protest. I think, I think it was a Dodge Challenger, actually. You and you car guys, man. I swear to God. I'm not a car guy. I was talking about him. You don't see Hondas hitting people? <laughs> okay. But it is very, very messed up. Like, yeah, it, they honestly, white supremacists shouldn't be protesting shit anyway, because you lost. Get over it. But... They don't deserve to be, like, run down with a car. Or the other side doesn't deserve to be run down with a car. No matter who, like, what side the person on the car was on, it shouldn't have happened. Yeah, just don't hit people with cars, guys. Like General rule of thumb. I I think that's, like, the number one rule of driving is (laughs) be safe and don't hit people. Yeah. But more than that, it's just when you're protesting and it becomes a riot, everyone loses. No one wins that situation. The protest becomes pointless. Not to mention you're letting the other side. Doesn't matter who threw the per- first punch. It doesn't matter who, the fucking. Yep. It mattered when we uh, fought Britain for our freedom. Oh my god. Yeah, but that was for America, Phil. <laughs> that was for America. <laughs> you self-centered bitch. Hey, damn straight. God bless the you're USA. You're not even from here. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. Here. Like, well, he was born here, but <laughs> he barely counts. Oh, I'm sorry. That is true. I do have a theory. Any. Child and immigrant is half immigrant themselves. True. Never fully part of the club. Were, were you in the mother's womb when you were while she was on her way here? My, <laughs> I'm just I'm messing with you. All right. So the point I was trying to make: it doesn't matter who started this, who got hurt more. The other side is going to, whichever side you're on, the other side is going to use it to further paint you as the enemy. And they're going to make you seem unreasonable. They're going to make you seem violent. And that's just going to escalate things even further because these people aren't going to think that you're rational. You can't. They're going to think you can't be talked to. I mean. Well, the problem is most people in those situations, you just can't because yeah. they're so one way about it. And when in that environment, in that atmosphere, like if we were there, I feel like even us would be like. We'd be geeked, ready to go because it's just the atmosphere you're in. Yeah, yeah. no, we would have already left. It's, it's well, I mean, we would have left, but like, yeah. it's not just that these people just feel like fighting all the time. It's that you know, you when you even when you can, it's like having a heated argument in your everyday life. Just multiply it by a thousand, and you have all these people standing across from you who say you're wrong. We hate anyone that's not white and blue, blonde hair, blue eyed people. That. Arguing with that, could you imagine arguing with thousands of people like that? You would go insane. You'd be ready to hit somebody too. Now, not saying that's right, but 
the emotions and just the adrenaline of what's going on doesn't help the situation at all. So I don't think it's just that these people are like bad people for what happened and that they're, you know, that they are wrong. I mean, they're wrong, but like they're not, they're not bad people. They're not enemies. They're not violent people. They just got put in a bad situation that their adrenaline and emotions just got high and ran. Yeah, it's the whole mob mentality. Yes. Yes. Going off of uh, one current event to another, um, the whole Trump, North Korea thing. <laughs> um, I'm only bringing it up because on Snapchat there was a what would Trump and Kim Jong Un look like with hair swaps. <laughs> <laughs> Trump good. looked ridiculous, and Kim Jong Un actually looked like a normal person almost. Are you about to whip out your phone to find this? No, I just want to check something real quick. Huh, okay, I was asking if you just go look for it because I'd be I'd be laughing. Why would you did. derail him? Derail him like that? Because he was done talking. He just told us what. Yeah, George. I Calm was done down. talking, George. We were. I was just asking you a question that's relevant don't to the conversation we're having. You don't get to ask His name's questions. George. Uh, my name's George. <laughs> <laughs> my name's George. But how uh, are you worried about this Trump North Korea thing at all? No, because I know George isn't. But no, there, there's no risk. I'm sorry. I don't care what anybody says. How long was the Cold War? Real long. Yeah. yeah. We were preparing for a nuclear strike from Russia. Mm-hmm. North Korea, I'm not worried about. They what? Ha- how many nukes do they have? I don't know. A lot more. What? Now. I mean, well, yeah, a lot I, more. I don't know. Exactly one more. I don't know. I don't know how many they have. But Enough. remember, we were going up against the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union ain't shit. No, <laughs> Calm at down. At the time, it was a fucking superpower. And look where they are today. Yeah, exactly. Cause <laughs> like, still pretty powerful, though. I mean, yeah, but it's not the Soviet Union anymore. Yeah, it's just Russia. But, uh... But no, I get where you come from. It's yeah, like... Just talk. We... We're, we're prepared for a nuclear strike in general. From that direction, yeah, we're prepared for a n- nuclear strike. You're prepared for a nuclear strike. I'm not. The country is. Oh, well. <laughs> How do you feel about the, um... China's... Um, crap, what do you call it? Their stance on the whole situation. Where they said um, they will stay neutral as long as we don't come in and like take out North Korea first. How do you feel about that? And they left themselves an out saying like they didn't really specify like what would happen yeah. on their stance if North Korea attacked first. So, from what I'm so basically, China's going to remain neutral as long as we don't uh, strike first. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I don't care. Do you think that's like? I mean, do you think that's them basically siding with North Korea, or yeah, is that kind of like fuck you, China? First of all, that's what he was asking. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How you felt about it? No, no, it, I, I don't acknowledge China. But uh, okay, <laughs> only only George, a billion they made people that, live there. They made the headset you're wearing. <laughs> fuck them, <laughs> fuck them, but uh, yeah, fuck you for that. Because if we have to strike first, yeah, dude, they're threatening us constantly. They're threatening to, what's it called? Launch a nuclear missile towards Guam, which yeah, and Japan said that they would be prepared to prevent that. Thank goodness, thank God for Japan. That's how you're supposed to fucking react when this country is going ape shit constantly. It's. But do you think that shows where China's true allegiance lies, even though we're, like, one of their biggest trading partners? You yeah. don't care, do you? It, no. Do you think I, I'm shocked? No, I mean... Do you think I think... That because you, do you, in my head, it's like, why would you mess up the relationship with someone you do business with the most? Okay, look at it like this, George. Theoretically, let's just go, like, how this would actually play out. So, North Korea strikes us first... And, okay, wait. Back to the original problem. <laughs> we can't do anything to North Korea, is basically what's chi- what China is saying. But if Korea does something first, and we react, and we end up going to war with Korea, which way is China probably going to go? They never said if we countered what they did, they'd still remain neutral. So what's probably going to happen is it's going to draw China in, and then it's going to turn into another massive war. Probably the next world war, if you really want to get. True. It could it, be. It could happen. Yeah. 
the likelihood is very small, but we don't know just because we're not. I feel like I feel like it's very Kim Jong Un and yeah, that's true. Trump. So I just feel like it's a very small chance because the world is so connected now. Before, like in the '40s, it wasn't as connected, but now it's like we depend on almost every country, like every major first world country in the world. And if we start going to war with them, that's everyone's economy is going in the going in the fucking toilet, which isn't what any country wants. So I don't know. I feel like. I don't know if I should, we should be worried about North Korea because, I mean, they've been talking I mean, shit for years. If but something's going to happen, it's going to happen, and we, we we're, can't we're not going to be surprised yeah. if yeah. it does or if it doesn't. But who's really going to come to North Korea's defense? China. Well, yeah. yeah, fuck China. <laughs> and then, like, every other person in the world is going to be like, fuck you, China. Well, I mean... They might be able to hold off us, but not there us and all there, of our There eyes. are other, com- like, communist, communist countries in the yeah. world. <laughs> And who then would would probably side name with name them? Oh, I don't know. I'm, exactly, because they're not worth knowing. That doesn't. But that's still that's still people. Like yeah, that's still people. That's still people it's and money. Same, it's the same way Trump won the election. Yep. He got all the small people. Bro, speaking of that, we're gonna go back to the Charlottesville bullshit for a second. Okay. Because this D- David Duke, who's the ex KKK Grand Wizard, he was he said in to an Indianapolis Star photojournalist about the protest. That we are just that the KKK is going to fill the promises Trump made to the country, and he said that Trump told us we're going to take our country back. In I feel like I'm that's like, a misinterpretation. Bruh, is it ever? Like I don't. I think Trump he's he could probably swing either way just from him being him. But for the ex, for the grand the ex grand wizard to be like, yeah, we're doing what Trump the president wanted. No, you're not. Shh, sit down and shut up. That's bullshit, man. He, uh, yeah, let me see if I can find the exact quote because it was like a longer quote. I know. It was bullshit. I, I know, uh, he tweeted at Trump after, uh, Do, yeah. Yeah. He, um, I had to write here. He said that he tweeted at, well, he didn't really direct it at Trump, but it was a tweet about the president. He said, I would recommend you take a good look in the mirror and remember it was white Americans who put you in the presidency, not radical lefts, leftists. I don't want to say leftists. Yeah, that's what he said. Um, First of all, I would like to point out there might be more white Americans in the world, but you still there's a still a lot of a good number of like non-white Americans yeah. in the country. A president can't get elected off of just white people. Like I don't. That's just not. He can if he has the electoral college. Uh, shut up. <laughs> but that's Which, to be fair is probably most. And, and white first people. of all, not everybody who voted for Trump is a fucking white supremacist. Thank you. Like that's not that's not like I, I can, when they like like I said this before when the election ended, I was I was fucked up like immensely in the head because I was just like, can I trust these people anymore? You know what I mean? And I've I've gotten over. Shut up, Phil. Don't look at me like that. I've gotten over it now, and I've you realized it's just for all these snowflakes right here. That's what <laughs> I need. But for him to this dude is an idiot to have the audacity to think that only white supremacists voted, and that like every white person who voted for him, Trump is a white supremacist. Like yep. That's not how the world works in the slightest. That's the problem is everybody's forced to extremes. So Yeah, I know. Um, his exact quote was, We are determined to take our country back. We are going to fill promises of Donald Trump to f- fulfill the promises of Donald Trump. That's what we believed in. That's why we voted for Donald Trump, because he said he's going to take our country back. That's what we got to do. Do you think this is the KK's year to... <laughs> no. No? <laughs> no? You never think it's going to happen? No. I think if they try to make it their year, they'll find out it's not even their country anymore. <laughs> True. I think everyone's going to get sick of their shit after a while. I don't think they realize how much black people have just learned to, like, fight for ourselves to begin yeah. with. Like, that's bad. Because we already feel like we're getting shot every day. So now you could throw these people who are just nobodies in our face. That ain't going to go well. Yeah. It's going to be riots all over the country, which is never good. Again, don't riot. Don't, don't riot. It's the love of God. And back to North Korea and China. Sorry, yeah, go ahead. So... China's allies and Korea's allies, if something like this happens, George, we're probably going to see a massive power team up of uh, ISIS and China. I don't think so. Bro. <laughs> I really don't <laughs> think so. I don't, probably, probably not. not. Just wanted to throw that idea no. out there. Like, could you imagine? But, but think about it. They hate us enough. You never, you never know. know. Not, to mind, not to mention, China's kind of divided in itself. Like, you Well, know, yeah, like, all the people inside of it hate it, except for the ones in power, but... I mean, well, they, they don't make decisions, so it's not like they're also not right to now. mention one half of the country really does hate the other. 
Because, you know, the whole Tibet thing? Is it the left and the right or the north and the south? Like here? No, it's, uh, what's it called? It's the Tibetans and the Chinese. First of all, I would like to point out that the Chinese outnumber the Tibetans by like a million, billion to one. Yeah, like I was like, yeah, there's like a million of them compared to every for every Tibetan person, it's like a million Chinese people. <laughs> no, Tibet is a very big part of China with and very few people. Th- thank you. And not to mention, you have to remember what's motivating the Tibetan people and their rebellion against China. The same thing that's motivating the Chinese to keep them in their place. <laughs> No, religion's moting, motivating the fucking Tibetans right now. Do you know anything about this whole situation? Bro. Or are you just talking about your, if, your ass? If someone is trying to revolt against you, you're trying to keep them in their place. You have their reasons, and they have their reasons. Whether it be religion or your beliefs of how a political system should be run, they're both beliefs, so they're both basically the same damn thing. Yeah, you're going to fight then, for your belief. That's what it is. Yeah, but when the, the Chinese kidnap a major religious figure for the Tibetans, that gives them some fucking motivation. That's fair, but see, I'd be willing to rise up to outlaw and like to get rid of in this entire world, baloney. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That stuff do, is disgusting. We do not uh. need pig assholes and bladders in our sandwiches. Thank you very much. What are you talking about? Baloney. You, oh, you, it's the same thing as hot dog. Just no, like doesn't what taste you, nearly as good. Why are you Do you eat hot dogs, George? Yeah. Then shut <laughs> up. I eat spam. Ew, that's disgusting. No, I eat Hebrew nationals, which are beef. cow assholes and cow bladders, which is as God intended. <laughs> All beef hot dogs are the way to go. Bro, they're so good. Yes. Especially when you, like, I put mine in the microwave because I'm a cheap bastard. Yep. But oh, it's, you know. it's too it's, it's too easy. <laughs> right? It's just... <laughs> but, like, you know it's good when you got that, like, grease coming out of your out of your paper towel. It's great. It's great stuff. Yeah. You use a paper towel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. I use I th- a plate. I just, yeah, I throw that shit on there. No, I just throw it in a paper towel, roll it up, and throw it in there. I'm a savage. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I feel like Brandon's a savage. He doesn't even want to use a plate. <laughs> <laughs> no one in my house does when we put stuff in the microwave. I mean, like, when we put hot dogs in the microwave, none of us use a plate. What yeah, about soup? Mind. I mean, yeah, we use a bowl, but... <laughs> Yeah, when we put make hot dogs, we just don't use plates. We just put it in a paper towel and stuff. And even when we make like when we microwave pancakes or not pan- when we want yeah when we more want pancakes in the microwave. Pancakes? Shut up, pancakes in the microwave. We uh we just throw we just wrap it in a towel too and toss it in. Got a quick question to ask you. Yeah. What do you put on your hot dog? Um, cheddar cheese and barbecue sauce. Okay, Phil. Ketchup and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Ketchup, mustard, hot sauce. What kind of cheese do you use, Phil? If you say American, whatever's in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Last night I was out of shredded cheese, so I use a mozzarella stick. That's disgusting. Bro, <laughs> ew. What the hell is wrong with you? Bro, you can also put ranch and hot sauce on a hot That's dog. That's disgusting. You, what you, is it you've with not ranch? tried it. What is with people in ranch? It smells I like ass. Not it to tastes mention, so good. It's so overpowering. It's like You disgusting. can't taste anything else. I Unless you put a ton of hot sauce in it. It's like buffalo <laughs> wings, <laughs> but a hot dog. You're supposed to eat buffalo wings with blue cheese, as Ew. they intended in Buffalo, New York. Blue cheese is fucking gross. You need to go fuck yourself. That's what you need. So what do you dip your wings in? I don't. They got sauce on them for a reason. But, bruh, the blue cheese. If you add ranch, it brings out the extra flavors. Yeah. <laughs> no one likes ranch, Phil. Ranch is disgusting. No, no, no. Ranch is good on certain things. No, bro, hot the smell of ranch wonderful. makes me want to vomit sometimes. I put ranch on my potatoes. That's disgusting. No, that's some fucking barbarism right there. You need to stop I with put that. ranch on pizza. You're, and you're a psychopath. We've discussed this already. I can't believe y'all like ranch, you gross human Look, being. Man. It goes on certain things. No, it doesn't. Not everything. But certain things. Bro, it's so gross. Like, that's why I can't eat salad, in all honesty. It's just... Bro, salads are delicious. Yeah, but like... It, why are you putting ranch on salad? Because my family puts ranch on their salad. That's and it's, what I do, too. And when I smell it, I want to vomit, so now Get I associate some that smell with salad. goddamn vinaigrette, dude. I don't, I don't even know, like... My, vinegar, my, my dressing oil, game salt. is weak, bro. Yeah, vinegar, olive oil, salt. Straight from the village, that is. <laughs> I don't need to be no Greek villager. I'm in a first world country, not that third world garbage. Ranch. Sorry, that was so mean. It's like second world. Beef, right? <laughs> Ranch makes up for 82% of sales in a $1.7 billion dressing industry. That's disgusting. Stop eating that garbage, people. There's actually a uh, article here from NPR that talks about why. Is, why, why the why hell is NPR talking about ranch dressing? I don't know. Like, wh- they have better things to talk about. Yeah. Like the title is "It's official: Americans are floating in a pool of ranch dressing." That's 
absurd. They are trying to like make it a replacement for ketchup in some places. That's actually. no. Which ketchup is even that good? To be fair, I don't. Yeah, I used to love ketchup as a kid. I used to eat that stuff plain, but now I can like. I, I didn't can't go stand that far. That like, much. No, I'm wrong. It's still a very good condiment. Like I put it on. Why are we talking about? this? I don't know. But barbecue sauce changed How my life, bro. On the real, I can't like I can't eat any other condiment except for barbecue sauce. Yeah. It goes on chicken, goes on hot dogs, hamburger, everything, bro. That's a one. A one's my life. Love a one. Why why did we go from talking about Tibetans and Chinese people? I have no idea. To fucking ranch hold on, dressing. Hold on, real quick, Jordan. <laughs> I don't know it, where it, we got here. It says right here in the NPR article. Um, it's so adaptable that the NPD folks have dubbed it the Swiss Army knife of salad dressing. <laughs> it might even be the new ketchup. Uh, oh my no! My God, get out of here! How dare you? What? My goal in life is to make ranch outlawed. No. So I'm gonna run on a pl- I'm gonna run for president as a platform is that just don't put it on your goddamn mashed potatoes. You don't put it on sandwiches. anything. No, put it on certain things. No. It's acceptable on no. wings. No. It's acceptable on wings. That is an abomination to the human race. No, no, no. no. That's the worst thing we ever created. No, okay. Come from the dude who thinks Kool Aid is juice. Oh don't god. Kool Aid is it's not juice. Fucking juice. It's not it's a fucking a juice. juice. It's a juice. Okay, but um go ahead. What were you saying? I just found out. The company that owns, or like, oh, he's so the original ranch is Clorox. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they That's added great. a secret blend of preservatives to give the dress- dressing a shelf life of approximately 150 days. The bleach! Bro, that, I was going to say. Bleach! They're putting bleach. That's why it's so gross. I'm the one that's going to survive. I've evolved. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Clorox! Well, to be fair, Dove makes chocolate and shampoo, so like. Is that really the same company? Mm-hmm. Damn, I didn't know that. Yep. They make some good ass chocolate. Mitsubishi and some good makes ass cars and electrical appliances. Well, that's they're Asian. They do everything basically for us. Those are two different companies. Mitsubishi? <laughs> <laughs> got the same logo on everything though. Two different companies. Are they two different sec like are they two different like sub companies within the Mitsubishi company? I don't know. You don't know? Because I know there's Mitsuba. That's not Which a word. Is typically, who does all the electrical stuff? George's mind. And then Bishi blown. does the cars, or <laughs> <laughs> probably. That was, a, that was a good ass joke. Just kidding. That was terrible. Never say it again. Ever. Why are you so hostile? You're cut off. Why are you so hostile? I don't, I don't know, man. I've been driving basically all day. It's been it's been rough. I've been driving all day. Well, I mean, I really have been driving all day, but I had to drive an hour. To drop Hannah off, then come, then move all of her stuff in, and carry stuff up three flights of stairs, and then move back. So I mean, drive back. So yeah, it's definitely like two completely different companies. I can't find anything about them making like cars and <laughs> yeah, both. Like the only thing that comes up is cars. I specifically search for like tools or electrical parts for what wiring a, what and electric- stuff like that. Is this from just from your job you've seen? Because I've never seen anything like stereos and shit like that. I had a Mitsubishi TV in my old house. Are you sure that you're not just mixing up another... No, the three diamonds and chase, everything. Chase, I almost said chi- Chasen. It's chi- a <laughs> Chinese. Oh, my Hi, God. Hi, Ba. Woo, okay. You sure you're just Hi, not pa. mixing up like another Chinese... Or how about Asian look, word with look, another... Look, I'll give you a lot of shit, but when I read Mitsubishi <laughs> and then I see the three fucking diamonds, I'm pretty fucking sure. Maybe the... the yep, still different company. <laughs> Same diamonds, what? same name, different company. Phil, Phil's not a te- okay, you attack same his name. Car. I, can, I think I can be forgiven. Yeah, you're fine. I just, I just find it funny. Phil's, Phil made it his mission to prove you wrong about his about his precious cars. <laughs> Even though he doesn't really. Do you do you like Mitsubishi's? I don't know. I didn't no, say that right. Just Hondas. Just Hondas. Only, only Hondas. Hondas. He's not even listening to me. Bruh, pay attention. <laughs> I am. I was uh, trying to think of like the different like prominent. Mitsubishi's. All that I could think of was the Lancer and uh, the um, Evo. Yeah, the Evo and the the one that starts with the G. Spider. Galant. Yeah, those are the only two I can think of. The Evos, the Eclipse. Ah, that's the other yeah. one. Yeah. The Eclipse and the Evo are probably like their most prominent. Yeah. Those cars looked bad back in the day too. They were tight. Then the okay, the newer Evos look really cool. Do they? Yeah. I haven't seen one. I haven't seen a Mitsubishi in forever. Mm. The last time I saw him was a Need for Speed. <laughs> <laughs> Those games were my shit. I never really played racing games. Never got into them. I know because you're Fallout Boy to the day you die. Fall- I'm not. You like a pit boy. 
<laughs> That's pretty badass. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah it looks decent. Yeah. Shh, shut up. You it's think com- a GTR it's, looks it's stupid? It's comparable to your... the new Subaru STIs and the new Honda Civic SIs and the Type Rs. STI is the sex thing. Sexually transmitted infection. Yes. Yeah. It's also a car. Nah. Yep. Nah. Yep. Nah. But you think Just a GTR like Mitsubishi is, dumb, is not a TV so company and a car company? So your point about car, your val, your like opinion about cars, invalid, completely invalid. Yeah. Because he doesn't think a GTR looks badass. God, I hate. I you. mean, they're really awesome. That's what I'm saying. Like he just is like, eh. I'm like, George. I don't like the look of those cars. Get the what about the old ones? I, I've never seen the old I ones. I like them up to a certain year. The old ones are the illegal ones, aren't they? Not all of them. Not all of them. Yeah. That's okay. Just the one with cocaine in the trunk. <laughs> no. That's illegal. They just didn't pass, like... Um, cocaine standard. No, U.S. car standards. I don't know what standards they didn't pass, but I just know they didn't pass standards. It was crashing. So <laughs> <deep>. <laughs> Our podcast is coming up at the current just, moment. Just now a video is playing. You done messed it up, Bill. I was trying to show you guys a photo. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, bro, if I could drive a GTR right now, I, like if they, if someone said, give up everything in your life to drive a GTR for the rest of your life, I'd be like, bet, let's do it. No. Yes. Because it just looks awkward as a car. No. Like, you ever seen is, a person uh, who looks uncomfortable? But Okay, so the whole thing <laughs> behind the GTR, George, is each one that's come out has been like a forerunner on what cars can do. Like yep. it pushes the car they push their cars to the limits. Like when the the push older the GTRs <coughs> came out, they dominated road races for years. It's cars are, and Paul Walker drove one. Yeah. And he died. <laughs> and he died Straight for it. Into the so wall. He did, um, no, he was driving a Porsche at that point in time, sir. And it wasn't into a Italians. wall, it was a telephone pole. God, get fucking, your facts straight. Fucking Italians. <laughs> you can't I can. You I can't, can't do that. Italians killed Paul Walker. That. Oh my god. Anyway, um You mean Mussolini. the Italians? <laughs> the Italians. The Italians killed Paul Walker. It was Mussolini. He was in the passenger seat, grab the wheel. But as remember, I don't give a fuck about racing. I don't. It has nothing to do with racing. It's just it's the fact that their cars are or like performance of cars. Like if he can get me to and from work, that's what I'm happy about. I mean, you know me. I don't care up to a certain point, but a GTR is a GTR. What about how fast it can get you to and from work? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Bro, I almost got caught. As long again as I'm not today. late, I don't care. What are you saying? I almost got caught again today. Doing what? Speeding. <laughs> it was How bad. fast are you going? I mean, I was going. I wasn't going any faster than anyone else on the highway, but I was just like passing somebody, and the cop was passing with me. So I was like, "Is he gonna be this kind of guy that's gonna be like just like I was speeding, but so were you? So now you're in trouble." So I was like, "But he didn't. He was cool about it. He just kind of went about his day." It was passing a semi. I'm not gonna like go 65 around a semi that's going 70. That just don't make no damn sense. Yeah, because you can't pass a exactly. so truck I, going 65. I, I, I pushed it, and I got there. And then when I got into the lane, I went back to the normal speed. So yeah, you I, got into you got in front of a semi and then slowed down. I mean, no, but like I got out in front of him, and then I went back to uh, a ta- like a normal speed that people go on the highway. For you, so that 80 is. to 100. <laughs> <laughs> no, now, um, we were, I was on 65, so it was, I mean, they the cars go 70 there, so I was going 75, 80. Which isn't like absurd on a highway. I was keeping up with traffic, so. But he, I, I for sure thought he was going to just be that dick. That's just like, I'm going to pull you over now because I know for a fact you were speeding. I'm like, you're doing speaking <laughs> about cops. Um, DUI checkpoints tonight. Yeah. In our area. Why? So, um, it's it's a multi county thing. They're trying to cut down on drunk uh, drivers, so they're setting up checkpoints and spots. They looked back at their statistics on where their most of their DUIs happened. Yeah. And they're setting up checkpoints in those areas Damn. to try and cut down on the drunk driving. Crazy. Yep. Well, good thing that that's like not happening next July weekend. Over again. <laughs> next weekend, y'all be fucked. <laughs> Why? Are you guys staying next week? Is that next weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so hold up. speaking of local things, tell me about this fucking carousel. Oh, did you hear about this, Phil? No. Bro, our mayor, oh, he's not your mayor anymore, but our mayor is losing his goddamn mind. What do you mean he's not my mayor? You don't live here anymore. Carmel. I work here every. Uh, yeah, I guess that. And I'm here every day. Is is your is um the dealership in Carmel City Limits? I thought it was out just outside it's of it. Westfield, but I'm that's in not Indy the same, every. That's not, that's not the same. I'm in Carmel. He's every not day. your mayor, dude. 
You don't work in Carmel. I don't consider here. myself living in what uh, Speedway, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an address where I sleep. That's fair. Is this the part of the? No, sorry. Okay. Anyway, yeah. um, basically, he wants to build a five million dollar antique carousel in our city. You can't build an antique carousel. <laughs> Well, he wants to do it. Do we need to all write him and tell him that? <laughs> I don't know if he specifically wants to build it or if he wants to buy it, but he probably wants to buy one. $5 million for a carousel. Where is he going to put that fucking thing? Who cares where he's going to put it? It's where's, unnecessary. Where's the fucking outdoor ice rink they were talking about? I don't know. That'd be more useful than a goddamn carousel. The carousel is going to be in the middle of the ice rink. Come on, people. Get with it. Good Lord, man. It's like... Ugh. This man is just wasting money. But if he spends all that money on a carousel, he can't build more roundabouts. Bro, he already tried. Luckily, the judge in the uh, 96th Street debate, about the, he, they sided with Indianapolis. Thank God. Yeah, yeah because it's Indianapolis. I know, but like the fact that it was up for discussion is terrifying. But he's building another one on Keystone somewhere. I just don't remember where. Where? 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 There's, There's nowhere no else. Bro, There's I no more... saw it on the news today. <laughs> it's going to be in the middle of I one know. of those fucking... <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be a roundabout in a roundabout. Probably. No, no, we already have those. Oh, yeah. Do we actually? There's we the one. Well could. There's the one between um, Carmel Drive and 116th. That's like two roundabouts basically put together. No, that's like four roundabouts put together. Yeah, I guess, but because it's two roundabouts in one, and then, yeah. That's all types of. Bro, I just. <laughs> and then they're about to Looks do the like one. Deformed peanut. They're thing. also about to do the one on 126th as well. In gray, right? Yep. Yep. So we're about to be screwed again. Tremendous. It's just, I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like, what's the point at this point? Like, why? Like, wh- it's safer. No, it, who cares? No, they are safer. But, like, it's just n- one after another. Like, I know. it's There's just no stopping this, I, dude. I think this is, like, only for, like, two months we've had all our roads back. No, 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 not even two months. No, because we don't have all of yeah, our roads. Yeah, because Gray's still fucking shut yeah, down. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, one of the main roads in, yeah. this, in this city is just gone. Like... It's, I don't know, man. It's just just wait until they start to redo range line. I uh, know. Uh, <sighs> oh fuck no, no. Our lives are gonna suck. That's why. Yep. I, that's why I'm so glad I don't go to school in this city anymore. Aren't they gonna turn it into like one lane each direction? Is that what they're gonna do? I think so. Instead of two, like it is currently, they're gonna go down to one lane each direction and um, basically narrow. Or they're gonna put big bike paths on the sides and put roundabouts everywhere. <laughs> Here we go again. People you brought up the bike. Bu- you bike bike you paths. brought the bike. People aren't gonna use those fucking <laughs> bike paths because people are fucking. They're just horrible fucking. <laughs> you should have seen his face today earlier when I was like, you know, they're trying to get they're trying they're um, debating whether golf carts can be allowed on the streets or not. And he looked at me and I was like, yes, you're gonna be stuck behind. The only a places slow golf I cart. know they're allowed in the streets is like West Clay, where everybody has a golf cart. <laughs> exactly, and they only use them in West Clay. He was. I was just like, yes, George, you're gonna be stuck behind a slow golf cart instead. So of we're a gonna biker. be allowed to have golf carts on Bro. the streets, but we're yeah, not gonna be allowed to have four wheelers. Isn't that stupid? I'm going to go with the most trashy fucking golf cart. <coughs> like, when I drive that thing through Carmel, property values will drop. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's going to have shitty spinning <laughs> rims, hydraulics. Uh, you're going to have all the white people scared, George. Oh, like, yeah, I'm going to go straight here? fucking liberal snowflake. Like The whole thing's going to be rainbow. Did you say a liberal snowflake? Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? Because everyone in Carmel is mostly Republican. But, but where did the snowflake come from? I'm going to be a liberal sm- snowflake in the street, just just annoying the fuck out of me with my goddamn... you getting my point. <laughs> Why is it a snowflake? Yeah. George, you're nothing like a snowflake at all, and yeah, you can't no, be. But <laughs> I'm putting on that persona to annoy the so waspy you're going to dye fucks. your hair multiple colors and get a sex change. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go that far. But I will... Insist that people refer to me as Schlee. As what? Schlee. What does that even? What does that even mean? I don't know. I'm being as, as ridiculous as I can. <sighs> you are just because <laughs> I don't want fucking golf carts on the goddamn roads. Bro, I had that conversation with my mom the other day. I was, I, I asked her. I was like, Why do people have the right of way? They shouldn't. Like, it's dumb. The car should have the right of way. <laughs> Stop for the moving death machine that'll kill you. You know what really irritates me? What? So you know how like college towns or some yeah mostly college towns like the crosswalks for pedestrians oh. immediately mean cars stop. Yep. Well, downtown Carmel, there's no stop sign <laughs> between <laughs> Range Line and Main Street. Yeah. And I think the next one is the stoplight at uh, what is it Hague over there by Carmel 
middle school. Yeah, no, that's not Hague, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Hague is in um, Fishers. Fishers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but there's no stop signs between there and there. Yep. But people in downtown uh, Carmel stop at every crosswalk like it says stop. <laughs> And there's no sign saying pedestrians have the right of way, like in yeah. Broad Ripple. No. There's that one intersection. Man, it's just like going down to Franklin today, it was like people just walking across this walking across the road. Like this dude, I was going twenty five down this road. Not fast at all. But the fact that this dude was behind a truck, a big truck where I could not see him, he just walked out blindly into the middle of the street. I'm like, What are you doing? You don't own this road. You can't walk across the street street where people who have machines that can kill you in an instant, just you can't just walk blindly across that. That's not how that works. Uh, was he using a crosswalk or? I mean, yes, but. Okay, here's the thing. In college towns, it actually makes sense. No, because, because he was by himself. A... Okay, I'll give you that one, yeah. And you can't walk from behind a car where you are hidden into the middle of the street. Don't do it. At least poke your head out and look, see if someone's coming. He didn't. He just walked straight ahead, for, eyes forward. <laughs> Wave a red blinders. flag out from under. Like, oh, dude, it was made, it made me so mad. People, man, just think they own everything. Yeah, what's, wrong, that's what's wrong with people like you, George? Excuse you can't me? own anything if you have money. <laughs> what? I said you can own anything you want with enough money. Oh, I thought yeah. you can't own anything if you have money. I was like, that's the opposite of what you can do, but that's fine. The so whole point of money is to own things. Money is power, my man. It's the truth. Sucks because we're, we're broke as hell. <laughs> Sad truth. Ugh. I just had a. I've had a long day, man. It's been rough. I've had a long day too. I know you've been actually at work, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Have you? Did you go to work today? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I I'm working the next three Saturdays till I move. Ugh. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I, my thumbs hurt from playing so many video games. <laughs> my back hurts from that long ass nap I took. <laughs> so you, you decided as you're at safe havens, aren't they? No, dude, I don't know what the fuck happened, but when I I got home, I had to go get some things, or went out, got a haircut, shit like that. I got home, and I passed the fuck out. Dead asleep. Hey, you got tired, man. Your body's catching up. It just fucked up. That's what I did the first week I worked at my new job. Got off work, was asleep by 4.30, and woke up the next day at noon. <laughs> that is absurd. Eighteen hours. That's ridiculous. I was out. How do you do that? I can't. I can't sleep for more than nine. Either, My body won't let me do either it. Either I was just that exhausted, or I was about to get sick. That's uh, the only time I sleep that much is when I'm sick. That's fair. Like there's been a day where I woke up for breakfast, thought it was dinner, <laughs> and went back to sleep and woke up the next day. So That's ridiculous. I got home from school, I went to bed, and when I woke up, I thought I was having dinner that night, but I was really having breakfast the next morning, and then I went back to bed, so I was asleep for almost a solid, like, 48 hours. That's ridiculous, Phil. This is on a weekend, I assume. No, this was like a Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> so you just didn't go to no, school? No, I was sick. Oh, like, okay. I thought you were just like, I got you. My mom said she couldn't, w- like, it was impossible to wake me. Like That's crazy. Sh- yeah. I don't. I don't ever get sick like that. I just get, like sick throw up and i'm good <laughs> see i don't usually like if i'm gonna get sick i don't like get actually sick my body just shuts down and i go to sleep for a long time That's and then crazy. i wake up feeling a lot better go to a, you know fucking coma or some shit pretty much <laughs> like yeah. his body's like we're shutting you down till you're fully recovered like like I'm, I'm naturally a deep sleeper but when i'm sick i'm technically probably in a coma that's not a good thing man no, that's my time. body repairing itself. Yeah, that's. I mean, I guess, but like, I'm going. Ba- I'm basically going into like one of those hyperbolic sleep chambers, and I just is, disappear from the world. This is not Dragon Ball Z, sir. It's the time chamber. Thank you very much. Oh, is that? Yeah, yeah hyperbolic dang. time chamber. Ah! Anyway, I'm supposed to know my Dragon Ball Z stuff. All right, fucking nerd. Sorry, my but bad. Uh, I'm playing. It's a great show. I ain't gonna um, play. yeah, I also have a weird thing when I get sick. I don't get sick often, but when I do, it's fucking. Horrible, like it's three things at once, and like it, I'm just dying. I can't hold any food down. It's just fucking horrible. I remember the last time I was sick, I was uh. Keep snapping. Go ahead. Yep, yeah, they love it. They love it. Sorry, go ahead. You've been slamming on the table just... this entire time. <laughs> don't don't start. Anyway, like last time I was sick, I was in Mexico, and couldn't keep any food down. Um, you went to Mexico? Yeah. 
Sorry, I know that's not the point of the story, yeah, but, but um, it was just fucking couldn't keep any food down. I had an ear infection, couldn't breathe all that well, and then on top of that, I was just to put it lightly, I was having stomach issues. That's disgusting. Yeah. Um. And then they gave me some good old fashioned Mexican medicine. <laughs> And you can't be sick when you're in a coma. <laughs> just so they just rub tomatoes all over you. Yeah, no, no it, it, okay, hold on, hold on. This, this was some OG shit. It came in a glass bottle. Damn. Glass bottle. You know how most bottles are glass, huh? What? You know most bottles are made no, of no, glass, no, right? No, from a pharmacy. Oh. It wasn't like those orange fucking things with the white top. No, oh. glass bottle with a tin top. And these pills looks like, like some Air Force Ones. <laughs> like just all white. No markings, just medicine. Hey, if it works, it's probably just it was probably just some form of like I, whatever it was. Horse tranquilizer. No, or probably some like just antibiotic. Whatever it was, I was happy with it. Hey, if it worked, looking it worked. up at the ceiling. So you said you went to Mexico, right? Yeah. So my family, like I, I've always wanted to leave the country. I always wanted to go to Europe because I'm a, I am like stupid into European history for some reason. Um, Cause it's interesting. Yeah, but um, my some of my family wants to go to Mexico. Quick, quick yeah, thing, what up? all history is interesting. Sure. I don't mean to sure, sure, leave sure. anybody out. Anyway, um, they want to go to Mexico. I've said from the time I could understand like the like the difference between our country and like other countries, never want to go south of the border ever. I don't know why. I just don't trust it. It's not that these people are bad, but it's just like there's too many like. Things that could like I know it could happen in Europe too, but it's just something about going south of the border where it's just like hot and like jungles. Can't do it. No, nope, I'm not about to get kidnapped and put into a sex slave. No, Mm-mm. no, that's Ain't European. Happen. That's European. Ain't happening. No, nah, I mean, nah. But yeah. So then the other night we were talking, and my mom's like, "Yeah, we're not going out the country anymore." And I was like, "What are you talking?" She's like, "Oh, this Trump thing. I just can't go out the country." I'm like, the "Mom, fuck? calm down. <laughs> calm down." American no, that's where you say, "Okay." <laughs> But like, do we, like you went, did you went to Mexico, right? Yeah. Did you go to like a resort like normal people do, or did you actually go to Mexico? Condominiums that my uh, godfather had there. So was that? That's it was like a, answer my it question. was very much a tourist town. Okay, so you didn't go to like Mexico, Mexico. No. no. Phil, you ever been out the country? Does two miles off the coast of Florida <laughs> count in a boat? No. Then no. <laughs> that's not even international waters. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's just. I know. That's the farthest I've been out of this country. Two Which, miles do you off want the to, coast. Do you want to go out of the country? I mean, there's some cool places I'd like to see, like Where? Um, New why Zealand. You, first of all, I don't know why. Why I got did so you shitty? Why did like you just that? attack the shit out of him? I don't know him? why. Just like, like you just expected him not to know places in the world. Just like no, where stupid? Like, like I don't. I really don't know why. I re- I really wanted to know. Where? Like, where would Phil want to go? Cause, Me like, and you are in a very aggressive mood today. I don't know no, what I apologize. it is. <laughs> no, I, I would go to uh, New Zealand. Why? It's where they film Lord of the Rings. Oh, my God. It, it the really scenery. Is, yeah, it's... Like... I mean, I get to it. To see something like, like that. Yeah. Okay, besides New Zealand, like, a normal place people go. Would you want to go to Mexico? No. Why? I'd rather be in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. That's basically another country. That's a, that's a safer answer than mine. It's far <laughs> enough away. <laughs> Would you want to go to Australia? Yeah, I could do that. Do that. Hang out with the kangaroos. Um, mm. Meet Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> you. <laughs> the Crocodile fact. Dundee. Oh, my God. This is like, I don't know if this is like, this wouldn't be racist. It'd be, uh, what would be the word for it? You don't like Australians? I want to no, catch me a wallaby. A wa- what? What? I'm going to catch me a wallaby. <laughs> you need to stop. <laughs> this is very, you're, this is very offensive. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> They have wallabies in Australia. It's that's the what accent. That's offensive. Sorry. Oh, the accent. Fuck the accent. <laughs> that could yeah, be a country it's accent, too. <laughs> it's nah, so it's true. Here's a country I've accent, never thought buddy. about it. I'm going to catch me one of them wild armadillos. <laughs> 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 we got down there at the creek. I caught a fish. Oh, my fish God. Fish was about this big. I threw it back in, caught a bigger one. <laughs> And I fed it to my dog. <laughs> Why does he do that so well? Because <laughs> this this is who he is on the inside. Right. This is, how, this is the, the way Phil's mind speaks to him. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. The time of 17, I uh, met my cousin behind a shed. <laughs> 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 it's like Phil's left brain and right brain. Half me American, half me United States. <laughs> God bless America. 
<laughs> I think we might have crossed that line. <laughs> oh my god. You said behind the shit. <laughs> well, that was great. Man, my breakfast used to consist of crickets and worms. <laughs> you were just and I realized to catch raccoons and squirrels. Just going for it, man. That's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever heard Phil say something that funny in my life. It's fucking hilarious. It's like the stupidest thing I think I've ever heard you say. Most of the time, he's just like calm, chilling, and then he just says no, some no. stupid Usually shit like that. Usually, it's like, it's just him sitting there occasionally throwing out some dumbass like, True. shit. Like, uh, best way I can describe Phil in a conversation is, imagine two people in the middle of the room, and then Phil's in the middle of the, in, in the corner, and he's just shouting like abuse at him. <laughs> It's like, are your pants not high enough up, you fucking asshole? And just like, <laughs> just random shit like that. George has been on the wrong side of my shit many times. <laughs> George has been on the wrong side of all of our shit many a times. It's, he's like our punchy bat that takes it so well. It's great. You're a good person, George. We, appreciate, we appreciate the brutal, brutal attacks you take. But the reason I asked this question that we just got so off topic from, um, did y'all hear about the, those people who had, like, a baby in Mexico? Yeah, we talked about this last did we? week. Okay. What? Do you not remember this? No. Did we Did we talk about it last week? Or did we just talk about it off this podcast last week? It might have been on that one recording we did where, like, you weren't in it. Uh, <laughs> what? No, remember the, when we were yeah. trying to get this new software, oh, this new hardware yeah, figured out? Yeah, 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 okay, okay. We recorded for like 30-something minutes, <laughs> and then we realized it Damn, wasn't picking up that, your mic. That two and a half hour, yeah, okay. So, just to refresh George's memory, basically there was a couple that had a baby in Mexico, and it had some health issues, so they couldn't bring it back to the States yet. But now Mexico is like, I don't know if it's Mexico, or someone is basically holding this baby hostage to a point where they're making them pay to get the baby back. They ended up already coming back. Did they? Yeah. Okay. They. It, it was only like a couple of days. Yeah, but I mean, it's still the idea of yeah. it. That's that's why. Like, nah. Th- they said they couldn't it. leave until they paid the medical bills. It's fucking. So stupid. they wouldn't give them the baby. Yeah. Until they paid. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> these people just didn't have a. They had a baby, but they just didn't have it. They had a baby, but they didn't have it. <laughs> so, I mean, you know what I mean. But like they had, they gave birth to the baby. They did not possess the baby. It's things like that that makes me not okay with leaving. That's the, country, the devil's man. job, George. Yeah. Because you think about it, what if something happens to one of us and we can't, like, we can't pay? Obviously, right then and there, because we're in another freaking country. Imagine going to Canada and doing something stupid, getting thrown in jail, and having to call your mom here to come bail you out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something you have experienced, Joe? No. I know you never say you left the country, but so. I'm going to talk about this oh just because I find it fucking hilarious and my coworker is completely open about it. Um, you he made wanna... the news. Oh. What? This isn't the the one that I've talked about yeah, previously. Yeah. This is one I know I'm actually good friends with. So apparently it's not a good idea to get drunk and fall asleep at the wheel and rear end a cop. <sighs> this is at like 96 and 31. That's crazy. Yeah. Like This was years ago. That is he insane. said the car, the car ride back to the police station was like an hour of the cops just straight up harassing him because <laughs> they thought he was actually trying to kill their fellow officer. Yeah, Jesus, that's rough. Now, see if he was black into that, he'd be dead. But that's different. We're not going to get into that because we always get into it. It seems like <laughs> it's subject matter. Which brings me to the topic: like, why didn't we ever do anything stupid like they did? Like, bro, because we're was not talking, that dumb. Well, no, I mean, like, he was talking about this town just across the border in Canada. He said when they were kids, they didn't need passports. They'd drive up there, like, once a month and go drink because you yeah, only had to be 18. Yeah, yeah, That's crazy. Because, first of all, one, we never had the ambition to do anything that dumb. I mean, no, we just didn't have the need. We could just drink. I don't know about you guys. I could drink. <laughs> that's that's like, kind of what I was saying. George, yeah. we, we drank at your house with you. Exactly. Ha- all Basically all through high school. <laughs> yeah, like, like, why the fuck am I going to go to the fucking Canada to get beer? I got it in my fridge. Well, I mean, it'd be cool to go to Canada. Like, we never really went on stupid road trips. Because we're not dumb, and we don't, we're too lazy to do that. Also, we don't have money. That, too. We used to be broke, though. So. Well, I had a job. Okay, I, we all had jobs except for him, but it's just the fact that we didn't have jobs. I could just be like, let's just waste this money and go on a road trip. Like, But imagine what kind of jobs and how much they got paid back then. That's true. Dude was probably working for like three bucks an hour. Yeah, no, the minimum wage back then would equal $18 a day here. And this time. I mean, that's fair, but... Power. You know what that's I find stupid? What? What? Did you ever read that poster 
um, about the minimum wage laws at your jobs. No. George, you don't have an actual building, so... I've, I've looked at it, but I've never... I'm just like, that's too many words. No. no. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I've read it a few times, and it's kind of, like, perplexing, because it turns out... So, like, the entire time I was working in high school, and I wasn't 18, they only technically had to pay me, like, $5 an hour. Are you serious? Yeah. If you read it, if you're... Um, below eighteen, they're only required to pay you like five twenty five an hour, even though the minimum wage for a working person is seven. Like here, it's seven twenty five. I'd be so shitty. Yeah, I'd be like, no. we have a uh, the two porters uh, that work. They get paid lower than minimum. Wow. Because they can afford two if they pay them less. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I know, like. There's, I've read somewhere, I don't know if this is either true, if it's true at all, but like, up to like, if you're 18, you legally don't, like, have to take a break. Or like, you're legally not required to, but if you're under the age of 18, you are. Technically, yeah. they're supposed to give you one break during an eight hour work day. Yeah, but I'm saying they're, like, anything shorter than that, you're not legally. No. So like, a, you're if not you legally work, obligated to it. If you work an eight hour work day, technically. Technically, they are legally required to give you one break. Yeah, okay. But anything under that is just like, no. Because <laughs> when I was when I was um, when I was working at the grocery store, I was I would take breaks on six hour shifts, five hour shifts all the time, and I mean, but I suppose uh, technically they could have said no, and I couldn't have done shit about it. Exactly. Do you? How long is your break? Because you work all a goddamn day. <clears throat> I get two. I get one fifteen minute break, which. We're technically uh, not obligated to, but companies usually give it to us. Yeah. What the fuck? What did y'all do? I didn't do anything. You done broke something. It was that. Wow. You done broke it. Look at you. My bad, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, and we also have a one thirty-minute break for lunch. That's fair. I hate taking breaks at work. I don't know about y'all, but I hate doing it. I, I love think it. I think technically what most employers' handbooks state is it's one fifteen minute break in the morning, at least thirty minutes for lunch, and one fifteen minute break in the afternoon um. on a normal eight hour work day. Yeah, no, uh, where uh, we don't have that, a company can give you uh, another break, but as of right now in the contract. They don't have to give us any more than the thirty-minute lunch break. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. I mean, I'm so I the it's company policy for me to take a break if I work anything over six hours. So, and we that's the only time you ever take a break. Either it's that either it's a thirty-minute break to eat food or whatever, do whatever you want to do, or you don't get a break at all. So, but a lot of times I just like I like since I'm a have to I I take it, but like sometimes I just want to be like, can I just like keep working, get it done, and like just. Well, you probably but, clock out, keep working. And then clock back no, in. because I, I can get fired for that. Oh. Yeah. We have cameras all in the store. Oh. Yeah, I can get fired very quick. That's oh. like that's like instant termination. <laughs> like you're you're done after that. Because that's I don't know I don't know why, but it's done. There's a lot of stuff I can actually get fired for like instantly. Like you think there is, but there's a lot. It's re- it's crazy thing. Like when you th- it, like it's stuff that you would never do to begin with, but it's just things that like. So like bring an alligator to work. I mean, no shit. But There's like, a president who did that. I forget what it, who he was, but he used to have a pet fucking alligator. I mean, you can have a pet alligator. That's well, not if he's a president and it's his pet, like he lives in the White House, like that's it's no, gonna no. Live in He kept it in the guest bathroom. He wouldn't tell people about it. I heard about that. That's, yeah, who was this I, president? He was one of. The, I, oh I'm about to look this up right now because that's interesting. <laughs> he he wouldn't tell people about it. That's sad. So when bro. they walked in, there's just a fucking alligator in there. What would you do if that were you? Run! What the fuck am I else going to fight the goddamn thing? Because I got to take a piss? No, fuck that. There's a bush outside. I can do it. You. <sighs> but with the number of cameras on that property, George. <sighs> you could that, that would probably be a felony, pissing on government property. This was not recently. This was like back in the days. I'm, I'm just saying. Back in the Dizze. If you ever he say that again, that. I will stab you. <laughs> what the heck? One Dizze you may. I'm gonna not to mm, Dizze. Boy. Mm, um, back in my day, we we just went out back. We peed in the woods. We took shits in the woods. We didn't even bury that shit. <laughs> Fertilizer for Danny's um, crops. It's John Quincy Adams had an alligator. Yeah, you fucking go. That's crazy, bro. He's a savage. <laughs> no, same dude used to skinny dip in the Potomac. 
He uh, he received it as a gift from Marquise de Lafayette. I don't know if that's accurate. It's like Wikipedia. But, Fucking uh, French, dude. Of course, they gave him a parrot. But what was I saying? Oh, one of the things I can get fired for is basically like if I take in a box, like a, they call it distro, but it's just things that companies send us, product basically. If I don't check the date and put it on the wall, automatic termination. Like automatic. Because it's breaking vendor contracts. Hmm. So I would, no question, fired, <laughs> gone. <laughs> and it's just like, so it's like something that small that you just don't really like. It could be like the simplest mistake where it's just like you just go grab the case off the wall. But it's the fact that we like broke a contract, the legally binding contract that can get fired for it. I don't know what the fuck I can get. I know as of right now you can't. Well, you couldn't before, but they're breaking, they're cracking down on my current job site. Can't smoke. If they catch you smoking, they'll fine your company five thousand dollars. That's crazy. Yeah, so you're gonna get fired for that shit. You're getting two checks that day. One of the presidents had a goat. I heard about or that a possum. Or I heard a po- he had a possum too. Wait, who? Um, Benjamin Harrison had a possum and a goat. And isn't he from Indiana? I have no idea. I know Teddy 90%. Roosevelt had a badger that th- someone threw at him. I, I'm almost Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Looking he, he had a small bear he too. He kept it. He yeah. kept it as a fucking pet. That is savage. Yeah. No, Teddy Roosevelt is my favorite president. You know why? Talk <laughs> like this. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. He again. rode horses. <sighs> And cattle them ranch. Oh no, he's from Virginia. Where did I? Why did I think he was from Indianapolis? I have no idea. Why did you think he was from Indianapolis? I don't why think we've goat? had a single president actually from Indianapolis, Indiana. I mean, for, I mean, he's not from, but from, he's from Indiana, I think, because it's Fort Benjamin Harrison, and I think it was named because he was from Indiana. Why are y'all looking at me like I'm? I have no idea. Oh my god, <laughs> you guys are terrible people. Anyway, that goat. I heard about him. Yeah. He used to eat, eat cigarette butts. Boom. Got it. Found it. Um, Harrison became a founding member of the first president and the first president of both the University Club, a private gentleman's club in Indianapolis, and the Phi Delta Theta Alumni Club. Suck it, Phil. So he was the president of two clubs. That were from Indianapolis, Phil. Yeah. So he has ties to the city. I was halfway there, okay? Do you know how many fraternities are Shut n- like up. <laughs> based out of Indianapolis? No. I know there's a lot of them, but... Drive down 96th Street. Is that where they all There's are? There's multiple. Uh-huh. Right there behind the uh, marathon oh. where the Burger King used to be. Yeah. Like the next three buildings are all fraternity headquarters. I did not know that. <laughs> Solid. Fucked up. So um, you said Theodore Roosevelt had a badger. Yes, the badger's name was J-O-S-I-A. I mean J-O-S-I-A-H. Sorry. Josiah? Josiah. Josiah. Yeah. That was the badger's name. He also had... um. See what other weird. He had guinea pigs. Which That's is a very weird, Teddy right. Roosevelt name, right? He had a hen called Baron Spreckle. <laughs> he had a bull, a blue macaw named Eli y- Yale. He had a garter snake named Emily Spinach. Why did he give all this? Uh, he had a Jonathan Edwards was a small bear. <laughs> I did know he had a pet bear. I yeah, did, did know that, that one. He had a rat named Jonathan. Why is he giving all these pets people Bro, I names? I have no idea. Like, it's weird. He had a barn owl named... Uh, oh, he had a hyena. And he had a barn owl. And a one-legged rooster. Dude, he's like Peter's worst nightmare. <laughs> Bro, tell me about it. That's crazy. And he had a shit ton of dogs, too. But those are boring animals. I promise red meat in every plate. <laughs> and no salad, either. <laughs> uh, man, these present, presents... Calvin Coolidge had a wallaby. <laughs> I'm going to go catch me a wallaby. <laughs> and he, he had a pygmy hippopotamus what the f- named Billy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the greatest thing I think I've ever looked up in my life. Uh, no, the presidents pres- are eccentric characters. Bro, I don't know. Like, really, though. Like, our president, Barack, had a boring-ass pet. He didn't have no pygmy hippopotamus. Yeah. The hell? He had a dog. Right? Like, he had a stupid-looking dog. Her- Herbert Hoover had two alligators, too. It wasn't Hoover. It was, it was Adams. Was it Adams? Yeah, because um, I remember he's the son of a other, another president. Oh. Uh, uh, we should all pitch in and buy one of those little monkeys and send it to Trump. <laughs> so he can do all of his press conferences with a little monkey on his shoulder. I mean, that's what he does okay, anyway. That would be... <laughs> that's what his yeah. entire um, staff are, just little monkeys that just do whatever the hell he wants to do. No. That's it's, what the staff always is. I, yeah, I mean, but like, they're like, job. but they're like a whole nother level of, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of civic, sy- sycophantic. What? Sycophant. 
I don't think that's a word. No, that's a word. What does Sick it mean? Sycophant is a suck up. Boot liquor. I think you're making shit up. Do you mean Google window it, liquor? Don't call people a cocksucker, George. It's rude. We, well, <laughs> we called them that two weeks ago. <laughs> True that. Anyway, oh. fucking look it up. Sick event. So I can prove you uh, wrong on the podcast. I'm, you can prove me wrong all you want to. I don't care about being wrong. I just didn't think it was a fucking word. I'm and learning He's just something. mad because Kool-Aid is a juice. I know. It's, it's not a fucking it's juice. Fine. It's not a fucking juice. <laughs> I'm waiting for that next argument to drop between us. I know it's going to be something stupider than that. How do you spell this? S- S Y C O P H. He ain't bullshitting. God damn it! How you got this? Bu- how you got this nice vocabulary? He plays video games, probably. Uh, don't, uh, a person who acts. I don't know what that word is. Towards someone important in order to gain advantage. What's the word? Obesquiously. Probably a synonym of obedient. Probably it's O B S E Q U I O U S L Y. Anyway. No, don't you remember I always used to get put in detention in middle school and yeah. sometimes elementary school? Yeah. Dead dictionaries in there. <laughs> oh, my God. You just read. Yep. Like Eminem. Um, no, you are not like Eminem because you be can't new, rap. I'm going to be the new rap god. Go ahead. Do it right now. Rap for me. Make a fool of yourself on this podcast. Do it. Hey, my name is George, and I'm here to say I like rapping in a major way. <laughs> you need to get the that was the most terrible thing I've ever heard in my life. That was you're, you. you're garbage. Get out of here. You he actually just he I I'm proud you had the audacity to do that. That no, was that's just a classic I know like thing. I know, but like the fact that you actually tried to rap something, no. even like minusculely. Well, because my old comeback when people asked me to rap, I would just go, "I'm white," and I would just walk away. But and you that, can't walk away now, can you, George? No, because I need trapped to be your here. ass. I need, His yeah, head stuck. Can't. <laughs> to the rest of our equipment and that too like duct tape and shit yeah, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with your vocabulary dog I don't know you had such an extensive reading books word. primarily I mean no cause like it's just like you know really odd words no one else really knows yeah. that exist like by the way did I ever tell you about the teacher who thought I was making up the term ubiquitous <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh. <laughs> she marked my grade down for that on a project yeah yeah Funny enough, project about the swastika. But uh, I was hinting that the fact about hinting at the fact that the swastika is found in almost all cultures, like a derivative of it, like before World War II. Yeah, yeah we, we touched on that as well. Was when, that was that on our like release podcast? It, it was on one release? of the first few podcasts we did, like uh, one, of, like the first one or the second one. Like that is on YouTube right now, or the ones that I aren't. Think the ones that are on SoundCloud that we're still waiting. Trying, I'm still trying to edit those. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, I, my teacher's stupid, and she didn't know her vocabulary, even though she was an English teacher. <laughs> hey, but man. then she died of cancer, so, that, so that's fine. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's um, because you know you always look at this teacher stupider than me, but I mean that's not really fair. Like as I've grown older, I really haven't thought that because it's like they just something they haven't learned in their life. I, I never thought they were stupid. I just thought. They were annoying. I mean, yeah, but like you've had teachers where like I'm not learning anything from you because I'm smart. You know what I mean? And no, you've never had yes. this. Obviously, feels all of Ivy Tech. <laughs> Calm down. But you know, I don't think it's fair to. I've had do teachers, that to teachers who because they're still learning just the same yeah. way we are. I've had teachers who, what's it called? I didn't learn from because they sucked at teaching. That's fair. That, math that's class, <laughs> bro. Jun- math what was that junior ugh. year? That was senior year, man. Was that senior year? That senior Bro, that was year. the only time I think me and you ever had a class together because we were both in the same stupid ass math class. That was eighth grade. Was it? No, we were in a math class together in, in high school. Were we? Yes. I think I remembered that. No, because what happened was I finally like got it done. Like I got a good enough grade for the next semester. I can go into the next math class, but the rest of y'all didn't. What year? I don't. It was. And that's basically how I ended up in all their math classes. I want to say junior or senior year. I don't remember. No, because I, I was in the slow math, man. I know. I, I failed a math class either my junior or senior year. And then I, I failed up my junior year, the end of my junior year. So I had to basically take the stupid math of the senior year. And I swear you, Cody, and Israel were all in the same class with me. So what happened is you continued on yeah. whereas i went to do it again because i didn't think i had a good enough grade and i ended up in their math class and we all dropped it yep 
Because you all dropped it after I, after I had tested it out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you probably never. You never went to school anyway, so I don't even know why. Well, what do you want from me? Uh, to be an educated person. My I am. You are very educated. I'm surprised. I don't know how you made it. <laughs> never went to school, still graduated. It makes me so mad. I'm a tremendous individual. Yeah. <laughs> You're the most interesting man in the world. You can start drinking Dos Equis. Is that beer good? It's not bad. Is it not bad? It's not bad. Okay, so you guys, <laughs> His know, face the, gets so you guys know the TV show, beer. Shameless? Yeah. Yes. yes. That's just so good. You know the beer they drink? Dos Equis. Uh, mm. no, old style. Mm-mm. I never paid attention to it. If they you pay attention, the only beer they drink is Old Style. Um, old Style is basically. Did you just lick the pop filter? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> just doing it to like look at filming, like, mess with them. But Old Style is based out of basically Chicago, Fuck. and it's a Chicago beer. Why so you can't get that? it. You Sorry. can't get it here. The only time I've ever had it was when Katie picked me up a six pack when she was in Chicago. Is it good? I mean, it's so like. My beer scale of like average everyday beers is Budweiser, Bud Light, Old Style, Yingling. So it's like a step above Budweiser. Where's the where's our um, Magnum stand on those scales? <laughs> like below Budweiser. <laughs> it's on the bottom. Yeah, it's on the very bottom. But going back to this, the Buffalo Wild Wings I was at last night actually had Old Style yeah. on draft. So you that was what you were drinking. No, because no. I didn't see it till I was halfway through with my first <laughs> with my beer. So that sucks. You know what beer is overrated? Yingling. No, you know what beer is overrated? Heineken. Nah. Oh fuck you! Yeah. Heineken's tremendous. No, Heineken's pretty good. It's bubbly shit water. <laughs> you drink Bud Light. <laughs> you drink Bud Light. You have the audacity Bud to say Light that to is me. Better than Heineken. <laughs> no, it's not. Heineken has Shots zero flavor. Fired. Here's the next argument. Here we go. Something y'all both care too much about anyway. <laughs> uh, that, is, that is funny. He's like, you drink Bud Light, Phil. <laughs> yeah, and you drink fucking German spritzer water. True. It's German. It's the no, is, is Heineken German? No, I think it's Belgian. No. Yeah, I think it's Belgian. Yeah, I'm actually 100% sure. That's pretty Belgian. damn close to it's, Germany. It's close yeah, to that's Germany. pretty damn close. I'm, I honestly don't like beer that much. I swear to you, I really don't. He's I know more of a, I don't. He's, mer- he's more of a fine whiskey man. For real. It's I like whiskey yeah. a lot. Finest decanter. <laughs> like whiskey's beer. Your top-notch scotch, please. Shut up. I ain't like that about it. I just, like, I like Jameson whiskey, and I like... Um, oh, Jameson. Gentleman Jack. Look at the Irish. So it's good. Nice and smooth. The magic juice, as I call it. I ordered a double Jack and Coke Yeah. on Thursday night mm-hmm. when we were out drinking. 12 bucks. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well have just bought a bottle. <laughs> Dude, fuck bars. Overpriced that uh, shit. I think Katie's vodka sick. tonic was two dollars. What? <laughs> <The> what? <laughs> yeah. Yo, my gin and tonic. That's like, great. I didn't even pay that night. You had to pay with my card. Remember that? Well, because I had to you go pet paid that dog. and then left, so I signed my name on your receipt. <laughs> No, wait, I signed your name just really poorly. Oh, because I had to go pet that dog. You guys know you're supposed to be drink, bringing your own alcoholic beverages this weekend, next weekend, right? Bro, I, that's what we I, do. I, I know, because we, we know what we like. Just yeah. so I make sure I have that good-ass gin and tonic. Ugh, you I'll bring my little fifth uh, captain again, see if I can get all the way through it this time. Yeah, you can bring some four locos, too, while you're at it. You want one? No, I don't want one. I, God, no. It's gross. The fact you can buy it in a gas station just tells me all I need to know about it. He's taking shots at the four loco. It, it's comparable to the magnums, but gets you way more fucked up. Bro, I still have that one that you guys gave me. For I know it's expired now. Oh yeah, it's bad. Baptize your child in it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Like I probably should just keep it, but it, I know it's, it's, it's gonna, gonna get, be a paperweight. It's gonna get lost <laughs> somewhere in the in my life that I'm just gonna be like, eh. We'll buy you another yeah. one. Yeah, I mean, unless they go out of business, we'll just Ooh. have to buy a case. Bro, what does happen if they go out of business and not all of us are married yet? Just for you guys to know, we have a bet. We have a deal that if once all of us get married, we're gonna drink a shit like just drink magnums all night because well, that's what we used to drink when we were in high school. Because it's cheap and it's, it's cheap and easy, get. man. Mag- yeah, magnum being a forty ounce malt liquor. Do not think we're drinking condoms. Or well, some I shit didn't like think that. they were that stupid. You can't overestimate. Okay, these you know our bad. friends. That's true. But like, yeah, what do we? What do we? Get? We have to find another one. This uh, sucks. Might as well drink four locos. Shut up. Last one to get married gets hit in the dick with a potato cannon. 
Have fun, George. <laughs> You're going to lose that one quite easily. <laughs> you just made it. You know what? Phil, I think it's a good idea, don't you? What? The potato cannon. No. No, I think it's a good idea. He brought it up. Let's do it, right? I, I mean, like, yes, we can all enjoy it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> most of us. Except for the motherfucker in front of the potato The whole cannon. point is you. something we can all enjoy together. Because <laughs> whoever ecstasy gets married Shut to the up. last person... Probably not going to end up having kids. <laughs> True that. That's funny, man. You set yourself up for like that. Cody. Just... Cody just want kids in the... So I, well I doubt just... he wants his manhood taken from him by a fucking potato can. <laughs> Where are you going to even get one of those, George? Fill the you potato with laser blade. You know how to make a potato can. You can find it online. Did you say fill a potato with razor blades? <laughs> yeah. You're so stupid. You're the cocksucker putting like razor blades and apples on Halloween. Only, <laughs> <laughs> only the chocolates. <laughs> The chocolate eyeballs. <laughs> Bro, do you remember as a kid, you'd find that house that gave you, like, health bars and stuff? you just like, who the f- do you think you are? Give me some goddamn and then there were, yeah. Well, you probably went freaking trick-or-treating in rich neighborhoods, so of you got course. good candy. Yeah, I know how, yeah. I know how to run the four. We had, we had, like, one or two houses that would give full-size candy bars. See, I went trick-or-treating here, so, yeah, I, I, I got the good candy. Fuck you, George. Yeah. But, <laughs> no, they did. I just, this was my ultimate sass back in the day when I was a kid. I wouldn't say thank you. <laughs> You're so petty. <laughs> petty. It's all I can do. Like, what am I going to I think you're probably the petty out of all the pettiest out of all of us. Excuse me? 100%. How? Why did you just <laughs> child? You, what do you mean how? How am I the most petty? Because you're just a petty person. I'm not a petty person. We used to have this guy who would sit in like a costume in a chair on his porch and have the bowl of candy in his lap. Yeah. And, like, when you go to get a piece of candy, he'd jump and try and scare you. Well, I caught on, so the next year, I... Sh- you shot him. No. <laughs> no. It was an older gentleman, by the way. I crept up... So he was a pedophile. Go on. No. I crept up, like, around behind him, and I took my sword that I had, and I flipped a whole bunch of candy out and damn near gave the dude a heart attack. That's the way to do it right there. <laughs> he didn't do it next year. No. <laughs> See... We've done our fair share of stupid stuff, but we just don't do it. We do it inside the country in the city we live in. <laughs> I, I built a three-stage rocket in the eighth grade. Why? What? Me, what me, is me a three-stage rocket? Me and Andrew Heisen. Okay. So you have, like, rockets. They usually go up and go boom. Well. They go up, break off, then break off again, then go boom. Yeah. They, they launch and have three different steps. Yeah. And you can see the steps. Like an actual rocket? We bought like two hundred dollars worth of fireworks, and we <laughs> emptied all the TNT oh, out of them. And we packed it super tight into a, in a PVC pipe and built a three stage rocket. It actually probably went sixty, seventy feet in the air. What is it with you and fireworks, dude? It's not just fireworks; it's fire in general. They go boom. They go boom. Man, them lights are pretty, man. Bro, when they that, go up and they light the sky. Man, if this 4th of July when, we, when that thing, when that thing like shot side, like shot up in the air and then landed in that person's tree, I thought for sure we were going to light that entire tree on fire. It was bad. You obviously didn't do fireworks as a kid. Yeah, no. no. God, no. The Roman candle war, though. <sighs> Caleb. Wait, we're actually trying to hit each other? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had were that you video the one somewhere. hitting Virgil or, or was I? I was. I, I, I was just aiming at them. I was trying to hit them. Don't get me wrong. But like I, I wasn't paying attention whether I got him or not. What they need to do is make a Roman candle like last longer, so you get more like time because it yeah. like it kind of just like piddles out in the first, and then it finally is like. Whoo, 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 well, it normally it's everybody has a handful of them, uh, and it's just okay. everybody running around shooting everyone, not what we did like the gun standoff. Yeah. I mean that's I just no I have no desire to no, be shot. So we were trying not to light stuff on fire. Yeah. What time are we at? Long enough. All right, so should we wrap it up? Bye now. Let's wrap it up. So, do hey. I have a joke? Mm-mm. I don't know. Do you have a joke? I didn't look one up. I got one. I can, I can, I can end it with a good message I received this week. Oh fuck! Just let me do this, George. It'll bring, it'll make people happy. I have to find it. You first. don't have herpes. Shut up. It's like a, it's like an actual good message that people should take with their lives and. Put it towards you know the way they live life. It's a it's kind of like a I guess you can call it a poem. Read but it? Yeah, I'm. It's loading. Calm down, y'all didn't y'all came, once came unprepared and stuff. 
don't, don't do that. Don't do that. That's no. Who's that? He's, you know, being Phil. What else does he do? All right. Are you guys ready for this? It's going to be deep. Go for you it. You got to listen nope. to it. All right. Living in the shadow, can you imagine what kind of life it is to live? In the shadows, people see you as happy and free because that's what you want them to see. Living two lives, happy but not free. You live in the shadows for fear of someone hurting your family or the person you love. The world is changing and they say it's time to be free. But you live with the fear of just being me. Living in the shadow feels like the safe place to be. No harm for them, no harm for me. But life is short and it's time to be free. Love who you love because life isn't guaranteed. Smile. That is by Gloria Carter, by the way. Um, it's I heard it at the end of Jay-Z's album, or not I mean, one of his songs, and it's just a good message to live by because people these days just don't feel like they can be themselves. So, we good? Yeah, we good. All right. My name is Phil Seaman. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at OG Philly G. My name is George Georgopoulos. You can find me on Twitter as Mr. D. Bopoulos. That is M I. Well, no, that's just M R. <laughs> you don't even know how to D-I. spell your own Twitter name. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. M R D I P O P O L I S. Did you just say P O twice? No. B O P O. You need to work on that out. That. Okay. His, his name's George, by the way. Yeah, his name is George. George. My name's George. <laughs> it's your boy, Baby Ice Cube, on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for listening, y'all.